so I was sitting here watching YouTube shorts and staring at this. Just beautiful. I was staring at it, questioning how accurate it was. So, I would like to tell you what this actually was supposed to be and what it is still. So, what this actually is supposed to be is see, so you know those, these kind of things? Oh my god, that angle looks so good on him. <laughs> so, you know those and how there was a flock of Danny one? This one was supposed to be like glitch trap if he was ever in one. But I didn't have plastic material. So, I made a flock of glitch trap. Very 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 fluffy so i used from all of the materials that i had i had um a foam ball which you could see so i started forming it into glitch shop's face then i covered it with felt made a nuzzle then started actually working on it using the materials that i had that i could use for plastic kind of visible material so I used hot glue, a lot of it, for the material, and then to make it look kind of plasticky, I used whiteout. And for this one, you could kind of see the um, marker. It's kind of didn't work with the bumpy type part. And yes, his vest, his vest isn't able to come off. I wanted him to be in like a weird pose where one hand was like this and his knee was like on the ground and one hand was up and he was just looking to the side like hi kids i now present to you the main antagonist freddy yes that's gonna be a teaser for a song Well, maybe a song that's gonna exist, but. So, I think he looks really good. I added a bunny tail, and I also had stitching on his back, like how Funko did it. So, for the stars, all I did was put white out on it. Just dab white out everywhere on here. Everywhere. Literally everywhere. On it. And then I added the weird thingy that Glitch Trap has. This is Bunny Tail's one piece. One piece. <laughs> so, that's Glitch Trap, his wires. Uh, the reason why his mouth looks pretty good ish is because it's actually stretched out. And then I added teeth. So. Yeah.